it's been a long time um, PvP we've been going for the top 10 this season so we're about to find out if we did make it or if we did not okay here we go got our daily diamonds uh, it was a lot of points to get up there my boy so we ended with rank eight my boy let's go ahead and see if we get anything in these boxes The enhanced room gives us plus 20 uh, skill points and plus 30 GP. So that's every training we get that. The termination is going to help our actual training rewards. We don't have fight, but fight would give us basically anywhere from 5, 10, 15 percent on our actual trainings. Now we don't have any fight, so we don't get that. Accuracy room is terrible. You don't want that. But as you see with the tolerance room, right now we're getting plus 150 for every stat. When we get it level 5, it'll be plus 200 for every stat, every training. Not every stat, my mistake. Plus 200 for a random stat, every training. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, John and Doom. And I'm coming back at you with another Baseball Superstars 2021 video, my boys. First and foremost, we're going to get something started of what we should have done a long, long time ago, my boys. And that is how to play Summoner Wars, my boys. So we're going to do how to play Summoner Wars with no Summoner War trainers. That's what we're going to focus on today in this video. Okay, so we're going to do some of the wars with no some of the war trainers. We're going to do a relief pitcher. Now, I have made an M before with doing this uh, for some of the wars. So this is my pitching lineup right now. So we're going to see if we can possibly get that again or, or get something near it. That's the end game. And we're going to go ahead and do it with this deck here. This is an amazing deck right here. Um, even for Relief Pitcher, it's still amazing. It just doesn't have full Relief Pitcher Resolve. You, you end up losing one Relief Pitcher Resolve, but it's still an amazing deck. Items, my boys, for this, we're going to go ahead and gob book it up with a Perfume. Alright, my boys, the main thing about Summoner Wars, no trainers, what you want to focus on doing. You want to focus on getting Nikki, and you want to hope you can also get some good rune RNG. That's going to really be it for your run. N Nikki is too powerful with the tolerance rune, so you're going to focus on maxing the tolerance rune out, period. End of story. That's your main focus, and that's what you're aiming to do. Um... The first training you want to focus on doing is trying to maximize your int because of once the other ones are going on in week two and beyond, you're going to be focusing on trying to get as much mana essence as you can as well to max out Nikki Room. So that's going to be your main focus on playing Summoner Wars with no trainers. It's to focus on your int at the beginning. And then after that, focus on maxing out Nikki. You need to max out Nikki all the way level 5 tolerance room, period. And that's what we're going to attempt to do here. Got three on the end already. Hopefully we can get that later on when everything is nice and up. Uh, well, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Oh, boy. We got the Specky event. That's a major downgrade already. That sets us an event back. So that's not good at all. Stay 
everyone is counting on you. Okay, we got all hard missions. Um, we did get the Specky events, which sets us back a lot. Don't know why they still exist in the game, but for some reason the game loves to have bad things in it. <laughs> we didn't get an imp facility up upgrade as well, which we were hoping that we would get. So that's unfortunate as well. So uh, Scourge is starting off starting off pretty pretty bad, honestly. Um, specky event, great game, and then also no facility upgrade. Um, just not the, the hottest start that you want. So right here, as you see, we're gonna focus on that 28 mana essence as well, and we get a nice training with it as well. So best of both worlds. That'll give us enough to go ahead and get Nikki level 1 on the rune. The first runes are going to be RNG. So meaning level 1 through 3 is going to be RNG for the first runes. Level 4 and level 5 will give us the actual tolerance rune. Now if you have summon the war trainers, it's going to be different on how you play it versus not having summon the war trainers. I'm going to make a video about that in the future as well so we're gonna go ahead and get the nikki rune we got the termination level one which is actually really good we just don't want to get tolerance we don't want to get accuracy and we don't want to get <laughs> accuracy <laughs> once again we do not want to get accuracy room if we can get enhanced room fight room and the determination room then we made off really well before we get our level four tolerance room from nikki so right here, as you see, we don't really have too much. We're going to focus on the Affinity and the 19 Mana Essence. Okay, once again, so right here, we can go either or. We got... 34 on the int and we got 40 on the actual mana what a personal now normally I really want to take this one because we don't have the facility upgrade but I'm going to actually go with this one because there's so many trainers on it and it's 40 with a personal so we're actually going to aim there on this one Now, I do hope we still get the int facility upgrade since we don't have it yet. But I feel like week one, we put a lot in the int and we didn't get it. So we still should get it no matter what moving forward. Okay, so now that we did that and we got the 40 essence, we can go ahead and get level two room. And we got enhanced. So that's actually looking good so far. We got a determination and we got an enhanced. Now we got 32 on the int here, so we're going to take that. 32 mana essence with a good size training. Okay, and that's basically going to end this week. We're going to move on to the next. Okay, so now we get, do got our level 2 Ant facilities, which is what we want. We also want to hope we can get the Dex facilities up as well. So we'll hope we get some trainings on that, and it happens. But our main focus will always be the Ant facilities. Tolerance room will balance us out, period. So it's not the biggest thing in the world if we don't get... Um, the, imp the dex facilities all the way up, but we do want to focus on imp facilities We do want to focus on dex facilities as a secondary if we can now We got another good int training with a lot of mana essence once again on it Also another thing starting after week two you're going to start getting mana essence after every week So week three you'll get 30 mana essence week four you'll get another 30 mana essence week five and so, so on and so on so you can count on having a few mana essence from that. If you get any of the uh, regular events as well from Summoner Wars, you'll get more mana essence there too. 
So you want to focus on getting your mana essence as high as possible as you can, as quick as possible. So we got enhanced level three as well, which means we won't have go or skill points problems at all. We didn't get fight. You definitely want to get fight if you can. Unfortunately, we did not get fight. So we're just going to continue to move on though and, and look past it. We don't have fight. We can either complain about it or we can just go past it and hope that we continue to get good mana essence on the end because we are getting great mana essence on the end which is very very nice that's gonna max the ditto support skill do we train my boys i'm gonna be a little risk you know what i believe we have perfect pitch max so i think we do so we're gonna pick we're gonna pass on it and get the super ball because i think and I could be wrong. That could have been another skill. But I think Perfect Pitch was maxed. It was. So, no reason to train there. Might as well take the Stamina. Okay. Now we have 16 on the decks. Now we have 40 down here. Which would actually be good. But because of we got a special training on the decks. Gives has haters support skill. Our personal training. It's just got a lot of stuff going on there. So I'm actually going to take the Dex one. Um, and we've been getting a lot of Mana Essence already, to be honest. So I, I don't think we'll be short on Mana Essence. So instead of taking a big 40, which I want to do, I'm going to actually take the Dex one this time. Okay. We're going to take Drive to give us more stamina in um, gold. Also got a good discount as well. I'll take them all. Right here, everything is low. Might as well just take the nice good int one right here. Okay, now we got a nice good event. So far this run is, you know what, the... First week or so was bad, but now it's not looking too bad. Everything is starting to be a little bit better. Um, we're going to go ahead and max out that slur. So as we skip the game, maybe that'll help our pitching. Since it's week three as well, we can buy gear. So we're going to go ahead and get those nice boots right there. Look at them nice, beautiful adventure boots. Like, I mean, shoo, he looking nice in those boots. You got to admit if the boots fit, you cannot quit. Okay, no int facility upgrade, no dex facility upgrade, no nothing upgrade there. So hopefully we get the upgrade for week 5 for the int facility. We are coming close to getting tolerance. So right here is beautiful. It, that's beautiful. So I'm actually going to take the Dex one just because of, I know it's a little bit more here, but let's, let's balance a little bit. It's it's 238 on the Dex with 38. I'm actually going to take the Dex just to balance a little bit better and possibly get the Dex facilities upgrade because I believe we'll help the Imp facilities upgrade. Now we got that name or destructive beauty. We're good on stamina, so I'm not gonna take that name. I'm gonna try to save it. I'm gonna take destructive beauty right now. Max super fast ball now. Now we just need one more training. So we got three on the int here. With 22. I'm actually gonna go ahead and um boost that. We don't have a fight, we're not gonna get fight. 432 is an acceptable boost, especially with runs I've been having lately. Um, so we're going to go ahead and boost that. Okay, so right here, as you see, we have a event. So we're going to take the extra mana essence, actually. Gives us another 30 mana essence. Now we can take... Nikki's tolerance here, which will help us tremendously. This is where we're going to start getting 150 stat for every single training that we do now. So 
So right here we got nothing, but we do got 34 mana essence right there on the strength. So that's what we're gonna take. A good discount as well. Now we got two different events here. Actually gonna take the research begins and, and see if maybe we can get that nice dividends at the end since we're taking it early. Now we have 72 right there on the matter essence. We got 14 on the decks. 22. Okay. Since it's a personal training here, I'm actually going to take that. But what I'm going to do as well, since we are low, I am going to buy Danger Detector. And we're going to have... With how this is going, we're going to have Spare... Um, both, really. We're going to have Spare both. But I'm going to buy it with the skill points to start it off. So we're going to buy a Danger Detector with the skill points. Now, we may pass this training, then we just have a, a danger detector on board, but we're going to not risk that too much. So, we did pass it. We do have it on board, and we got a discount from it, too. Now, this is beautiful. We have flight or needed character. This is a plus event, so we're going to actually take flight. And that's going to give us more mana essence as well. So, good stats in mana essence. We will take it. We're going to hope that we get the end facilities upgrade here, which we did not, unfortunately. So we're heading into week five with still level two end facilities. Um, we did not also, we did not get a dex facility upgrade. So sometimes you just don't get the upgrades. You know, you can do all the trainings as you saw. We've done uh, plenty of trainings in int and we just did not get an upgrade on it. And that does happen sometimes. So right here, we got three on the decks. Which went on the int. We're going to take the three on the decks to try to actually help with the upgrade of the decks facility still. Uh, we do have stamina issues as well as we roll into this week. We did not get an event to help our stamina. So we're going to hope that danger detector doesn't fail on a 99%. Which it did not. And then we're going to... Um, Hope that we get a costume super. So if we can get Ditto or Rowena, that would be the best results. But we'll take anybody's. But Ditto or Rowena is the best. Okay, so we got Haters. Haters is fine. It's not the most powerful super that we can get, but it's fine to take it. If you wanna, if you go wanna go for maximum bang for your buck, you would shoot for Ditto or Rowena if you have the costumes for them. We also have the ball, so we're going to go ahead and buy it. We're also going to buy the training for two with the go. As you see, we got a lot of go right now, so we'll go ahead and buy training for two now. Okay, so here we got two on the end with a lot of int here. 12 mana essence. Or we could take the 24. We're actually going to take the 12. I'd rather take the bigger training. We got a danger detector on still, which is going to use it. Gonna hope we get some stamina back on this next one. And we did not. We need stamina now. So we are running into stamina issues majorly. We have four on the mint. That would have been nice if it was four on the actual int, because as you see, the difference. Also got mana essence there as well. I don't like these moves now, my boys. But I know we're going to have spare skill points. I know for sure we're going to have spare skill points. So we're going to buy a dangerous detector with the skill points one more time. Then we're going to go for the actual one with the mana essence on it. Now we're going to hope we get a stamina event. Because if we don't get a stamina event here, then we're... Okay, I believe Hater gives stamina event. Stamina right here. I believe it's 40. So Hater's going to save us. Ooh, with a good discount as well. And now we have two with 38. We needed that. Thank you, Hater. So we're actually going to take this training. Uh, 
That's good mana essence as well. And then we're finishing off Hather Super Skill. Okay, another good discount from Hather. Okay, and we got enough gold to buy our letters and our uh, our gear. Okay, so for this run to finish off knife nice, we are gonna need some big trainings in order to. We got the mint <laughs> facility upgrades, but never a dex. But we are gonna need some big trainings to finish this run off really nice and. So we're gonna hope we can get that. We got stamina issues, so we're gonna have to climb so we can get the stamina. Three on the decks, two on the mint. I'm actually gonna take that decks. And the only reason is because I really haven't been getting series on the int. We still have it. It's a personal there as well, so I'll take the personal. But we just haven't been getting her on the int. And I don't know why, but. Let's go ahead and take that so we can make sure that we have it. Okay, this will give us 20 stam because we do need stamina. I need I really will hope that name or something with a lot of stamina pops up and um to give me some stamina. Okay, now we got the dicks. And we got the mental. So we're gonna go ahead and take the dicks one more time. We got Rowena there as well. 36. So this is going to give us maximum. Well, not maximum, but now we got 300 mana essence. So with that 300 mana essence, we can go ahead and buy. We'll go ahead and purchase the special training this time. We'll accept it. Okay. So now we can go ahead and buy the max tolerance. Okay, so that'll give us 200 instead of 150 on the stats. Now as well, what we'll do so we can try to make sure that we beat the boss. This, These are all bad right here, my boys. But we'll go ahead and take this one. I'm almost to the point where I'm going to start boosting doubles now. So from here on out, if I don't get a, a triple, it's going to be boosted. Um, I'm just going to boost doubles. I was hoping to get a triple or a quad or something. For maximum gain but we just haven't get that we haven't got that um but now what we're gonna do instead of taking art we're gonna take camilla's right here that's gonna help us with damage okay so now we got really none of these trainings are really that great um we low on stamina as well i believe we have one more danger detector my boys one more danger detector we're gonna buy it. All right, we're gonna buy this next danger detector with gold. We're gonna hope we pass this training without using a danger detector. So we're gonna take the int one. We're actually gonna boost this int one as well because of our trainings, as you as you've seen, they have not been great. But we're going to boost this. We're going to take that and hope we pass it. So we did pass that. So we do have that to fall back on. Alright, my boys. We're going to need some amazing numbers to make up. If this is going to be a great training, we got our events here at the end to start off, off with max down, which is definitely what we need because of our stamina has been an issue this run. Okay, we also got 50 as well. So what we can do is, and what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to put it in art and math. To give us maximum maximum damage. So and then we get a fight level one as well, which helps us a little bit. So now we're gonna engage in our boss battle. We got the hat as well, but we also will need electors. So this first training is going to be pretty crappy, my boys. It's 
Everybody's on the mint. And Nikki's gonna give us start us off with a very weak hit. Now we're gonna hope. Oh my god. Okay, it's just a triple. I was hoping it was an actual big int. But it's just a triple. But that is that is still boost us really, really well. So that's a almost a thousand int gain right there from that, my boy. So that's a good one. We don't have any other boost either, so. So Art gave us a very weak hit as well. That's not looking good um, when we think about um, finishing this. So we might not pass the boss depending on how hard Camilla hits. Um, gonna see my boys. Dex training here. Greetings. Okay, Camilla is bringing some damage. Camilla might have just saved us on the boss. Camilla saved us, my boys. Camilla definitely saved us, my boys. So we're just going to take the, the maximum stats here, which is going to be the Dex one. And then we're going to have enough for Lecters and... So we'll have enough for Lecters and the, um... The hat. Because we had level 3 enhanced room. Okay, so as you see, we still have a ton of gold, so we're gonna actually buy the hat now. And now we're gonna buy the lectures. Now we still didn't get like a whole bunch of int, my boys. As you see, we're only at 8,000 int. And for these runs, you really want them to be like around like 10,000 int. So we're very, very short, my boys, on the actual um, int. But we'll see what we end up getting. We did pass electors as well. Max electors at that. My only problem in this run is I feel like the the stats are not the best of what they could be. Um, if we would have got great stats on this run, this would definitely be a M tier, you know, Specky coming in at the beginning really ruined the run because you lose out on a major event there. Discounts were were really really good, but I don't think the discounts can make up for. Well, you you always gonna aim for max skills, so it's not like the discounts is gonna make up for all the stat loss that we don't we don't have on this run, unfortunately. So I just, I don't believe it'll be M tier. Maybe it'll be a high RR4, maybe a RR5, um, but definitely not M tier, my boys. So we're going to get all our skills with a whole bunch of skill points left over because of, like I said, we got great skill discounts here, which is why I was not concerned at all when we had the enhanced room about skill points. As you see right there, my boys, after maxing everything, we still have 853 skill points left. So, and I knew that would happen. So, tons of skill points left, tons of gold left as well. We're going to go into the facilities and buy everything we can. But, yeah, just a lot of stuff left over. Now, if I knew the discounts was going to be this great, I could have, like, bought the, um my chances of increasing Rowena and Ditto for the, uh, what is it, par pr uh, the private party room. But you never know you're going to have <laughs> this much left over a lot of times. So sometimes you only have like 200 or so left over. You know, you don't always have like 400 max. But I don't think the, um, I don't think it's enough, my boys, unfortunately. 
But let's see right now. We're, we're, we're at 20,000 stats. So, but let's see, my boys. Let's see what we got. I'm thinking RR5. Triple R5 is what I'm thinking. Not even, my boy. Not even. Triple R4. The stats were just too low, my boys, for this one to happen. Uh, so, unfortunately, we didn't get it. If we would have got another, either another triple, like we had to take the double. But if we got another triple or a, or if that quad would have actually been a true quad and not Rowena. If, like, it would have been all four int trainers. We could have made it, my boys. We would have definitely had a triple R5, possibly even an M. But we didn't get that, my boys. We still got a triple R4. This was a, a decent run. Probably would it would have went a lot better if we didn't have Spicky. I'm telling you, Spicky, that cost us a lot just having that event at the very beginning. But even with that, we still got a triple R4, my boys. This is going to be how you play Summoner Wars without Summoner War Trainer. So if you're going to go in with the four self deck, or if you're going to go in with like just any deck that doesn't really have Summoner War Trainers, or you have one or two Summoner War Trainers, this is how you're going to play it. You're going to aim for that Nikki first. Get Nikki all the way max and then aim for the others. You know, either one, two, start, depending on what you can do. Definitely try to one star all of them if you can, because as you saw, Art didn't do crap for damage, but Camilla came and saved us. So if I would have picked everything in Art and Art still hit weak like he did, Camilla and Mav could have not did enough damage to bring it to 3,000. So, but always max Nikki first. She is the best one. Cost of the tolerance room gives so much stat. So if you're going to go in there with no Summon the War trainers, this is how you play it, my boys. With that said, my boys, that's going to be it for today's video. I had a blast riding with you guys once again. We're going to do this again, but with Summon the War trainers. So I appreciate you guys for riding with me. You guys have a good one. Make sure y'all stay safe out there.